Hi, my name is Daniel Cora, and I'm a PhD student at the University of Oxford. To explain my research, I would like to use a dish that everyone loves to eat. Pasta. I want you to imagine that you see the dish on Instagram and you would like to cook it. What ingredients went into making this dish? For one, you already have a photo of it. You could try zooming in, again, and again. I hope you'll be able to see by now that just by zooming in, you can't tell what ingredients went into making it. You just know it's orange. It could be bell peppers, orange. The possibilities are endless. But if I posted a recipe along with this dish, you could tell with this dish of pasta, it was created by these ingredients and the amount of ingredients. Now, if I increase the amount of tomatoes from two to let's say five, I will get a different dish where the sauce is a darker shade of red. I've told you about pastas, but how does this relate to my research on the brain? Imagine this picture now is black and white in color and the ingredients are cells in the brain. You will get what I call an MRI picture, which is a photograph of your brain already all put together in a machine called an MRI scanner. Just like this dish of pasta, this is a photo of your brain that has already been put together. You don't know what ingredients went into making it. So this is where I come in. I create what you call recipes of the brain, not to cook, but to understand how I create this photograph of the brain. I do this by taking brains that have been kindly donated for research and taking photographs of it in an MRI machine that you see over here. I then put it under the microscope and I look for cells like these ones and count the number of cells. So in this case, for example, if this amount of cells, I can tell just by increasing or decreasing the number of cells, I will get different shades. For example, this darker shade in this photograph or the lighter shade as seen here. Therefore, I will now understand what number of ingredients leads to these kind of photographs. How do I use it in the future? Well, with many different brains and many different recipes, a doctor in the future will be able to understand what ingredients went into making this photograph. With a new picture, they can link it to different cells, and this will be able to help them treat their patient for a neurological condition. Thank you very much.